Hi, this is Megan from Rogue River Studios, and welcome to my studio slash body box tour. My studio is very messy. It's not glamorous. It's a basement studio. It's very small but mighty, but this is my happy place, and I really love all the work that I do here. So I wanted to kind of share in the madness a little bit. So this is just sort of a mess, um, but there's a few horses here hanging out, um, waiting for prepping. Then over here we have some that are being pastelled or awaiting pastels, and also some that are in the sculpting stages. So like this little guy, he's a re-sculpting commission. So is that little mare. And then this here is a Hamilton. It's being customized. She's just sort of hanging out there. I need to get her some pegs so she can stand, but right now she just lies down. And all my pastels are just kind of out. I don't really... I'm not super organized, as you can see. It's very much things on top of things on top of things, but it works, and I have everything I need, so there's that little workspace and some of the little random ponies that are in various stages of work. Then over here, this is kind of the Dremel station. It's, again, kind of a mess, but I've got a vise here for if I have to drill into small parts that I don't want to be holding on to them. That comes in really handy so I don't have to risk my fingers. Um, just have some bodies here. These are awaiting some dremeling and chopping and repositioning, so they're hanging out there. This is my Dremel. It's just a cheap knockoff, but it's been a very good tool, and I've been very happy with it. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to, but I really have been happy with it. So we'll go right into my body box, which is actually these set of shelves. Um, which I really like because I have a lot of bodies and it's nice to be able to see what I have and have them not really organized but just kind of seen. I like to I like to have them set up so they're just kind of chilling and I can see what I'm working with and look through when I'm considering a project or Sometimes I'll have a client who's looking for something specific and I can actually find something in my personal stash that will work for their project. So it's really nice to not have to dig through a bin to just have these shelves here. So we'll begin for here. There's a few micros. This is probably not going to show up super well. I don't have a really great camera setup or anything. I don't plan on, on investing in a better setup or really putting much effort into these videos. It's just kind of something that I wanted to get into just to have fun with and I'm not looking to become a YouTuber or anything. I just wanted to kind of play around with it. So these two in here are getting some drastic re-sculpting. The little girl on the right hand, upper right hand side, is an ultra fine that I changed to being parked out and she's gonna be a Tennessee Walker but she still needs a lot of work. The Maxi Cobb, I just kinda chonked him out and he's hopefully gonna be a Suffolk Punch or something like that. Did I say Punch? I meant Punch. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of paunchy, so... Okay, uh, this little horsefly, 
He is actually going to be a realistic horse. He's kind of in rough shape right now. He needs he needs help, but I uh, got a fidget who's got some broken legs, and I actually want to redo her legs, but I don't have time right now, so she is just hanging out. I have a sprat that I'm going to turn into a Buckeye portrait at some point when I have time. Uh... This is a micro hazel that was in a very bad state and just still is. She's eventually going to be a nice little hippocampus, but just kind of on the back burner for now. Uh, this little pony is super cool. He's actually an unrele unreleased poor horse body, so he is, he is really quite cool. He's super cute. Um... He's a, he's a bisque, so he's, he's a clinky. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's definitely a clinky. He needs some help. He needs some legs and a tail and a base of some sort, but he was a chin find, and he's really cool. Uh, Pacuito, that's missing a leg. I have a lot of missing limb ones, and they're eventually going to get limbs, but... There are only so many hours in the day. <laughs> uh, then there's a couple stable mates. One's just prepped. Um, and then this little ornament I started into a drastic and then just kind of went on the back burner, but it'll be cute someday. And then these three here are uh, restoration projects. Um, these are for my personal collection. These aren't, um, these aren't restoration orders or anything, but they're all, uh, Briar Chalkies. And, um, this little quarter horse mare, she needs an ear and some touch-ups. The Clyde Full, he just needs some touch-ups. And then the Proud Arabian Stallion, he actually is in the process of getting a new leg. It's kind of really rough here. I need to do more work on that, but at least he can stand now. And they're super cute. I really love chalkies and I love restoring them. So they're just kind of waiting for when I have time to work on my horses and not other people's, which is never, but they'll get done eventually. And then over here, these guys aren't bodies. These are just, um, they help me when I make stands. They kind of are my tester horses to make sure that my stands work that I make for Totalus and Huck Bay models. So that's why they're over here. Uh, some mini winnies and spare parts and such. Some little pewter animals. Um, I have a few medallions here. I'm trying to cut back on medallions, so, um, this one is a Sarah Rose ornament. Uh, this is a, this is a duck, actually. He's really cool. A little, uh, May Medallion Madness magnet from when I did that on Model Horse Blab. Uh... Medallion Mayhem, Placing Medallion, he's really cool. He has so much detail for that size, that's really amazing. Little Love Medallion from the Jennifer Show, Sleeping Donkey Baby, a Nobel, Swishy Tail Mule. Uh, this guy, he is a chin find. He's actually a Sarah Mink bust from one of the original NAN, North American Nationals. So yeah, he's he's pretty cool. He's kind of a piece of hobby history, in a way. So we're gonna go ahead and move down. These are mostly briars. There is a full zilla. Everybody needs a full zilla in their body box. There's a Lady Roxana, a touch of class. Everyone needs a touch of class in their body box. Smarty Jones, Copper Fox Cobb, 
This guy is a briar resin. I'm blanking on the name, but he's a nice little gated breed. He's super cute. Uh, Weather Girl. Uh, this guy is actually just a restoration project. He just has a few rubs. I need to get to him at some point because he's like, uh, save me from the body shelf. And I'm like, dude, I don't have time. <laughs> Moving down, I have an Alborozo, a Strapless, that's one of my favorite molds. This um, old vintage Tracaner and a Vallegro head, uh, they're eventually going to become a nice sport horse custom. I don't know when that will be. There's a Voyeur Bristol, just kind of a spare. This guy is a resin. This is War Chant by Kathy Bogucki. This is one of my holy grail resins, and I'm hoping to get to him before the end of the year because I would really like to get him painted. He's really amazing, and I've wanted one for a long time. Couple Briar Dogs, a Northlight Mule. These make fabulous customs. A Vallegro just kind of chilling back there. And then down here is the only really disorganized part of this shelving unit. These are a lot of stable mates and they're just kind of tossed in here, but I, I basically know what I have for the most part. Um, and then this poor guy is a Briar Hambletonian resin and I did an awful job of getting him off his base so he is missing feet and He's just really in a sad state, but he's just kind of like, dude, save me. <laughs> uh, the the non-glamorous side of the customizing hobby sometimes. Uh, then more non-glamorous, that guy is a drastic that I started and just kind of put on the back burner for now. He's eventually going to have that resin head and probably some flying braids and be a nice little gaming horse but he just got on the back burner and he doesn't stand so he's just kind of back stranded there <laughs> then uh this bucking bull was a chin find he's just cool i like i just like that bull and he was at the chin and i was like yeah i want a bull uh mason uh Imperador um, with a Giselle head and neck. That's eventually going to be a nice gated custom. Uh, this is a cowgirl poetry resin that I'd want to make into a performance mule at some point, but once again went on the back burner. A couple of classic warm blood foals, a swaps, a love quarter horse stallion a Sicilian donkey, another resin head, hello, a couple uh, love Mustang mares, a love classic uh, Arabian foal, I believe, and a love classic quarter horse mare. And then this girl on the floor here, she is by Tracy Collar, she's a resin, um, She's in the process of being stripped and having her new foot put on, and she needs a man and tail and such, but she's, she's a project resin, but she's, she's actually really beautiful. She just needs a little help right now. Then a collecta full, couple old paddock pals. Those are eventually, I hope, to make into sort of extreme customs. Uh, Le Fire, Drastic, he's mostly done. He's sort of um, standing or struggling to rise, um, and he, he's mostly done. He just needs a little more sculpting. Uh, little Mule Resin, adorable chin find from last year. Just love those mules if you can't tell. <laughs> Uh, collect a Shire Mare and Zebra. Jumper Chip Resin, that one I think is going to become a jumping mule at some point. 
Uh, this is an unfinished armature, uh, mini Zeriab. Uh, this little guy is a zebra from Horse and Bird. I'm not even gonna attempt to say her name because I'll get it wrong, but she is one of my favorite artists and this is one of my favorite resins. So when I had the opportunity to get another one of these unpainted, I jumped on it. Uh, mini Catalina, uh, Dome Scratcher, I believe. Uh, Iago, he's a rough cast. He's got a lot of flashing, but again, couldn't resist to have another one of him. He's super cute. Worth the weight. Uh, Delilah. Um, this is one of those Kronos horses that has a resin head. I had started it as a portrait of my gelding, and now... He's just kind of chilling until I have the time and the motivation to do something with him. But, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Sorry, that was rough. I had to stand up. Um, and this isn't entirely all of my bodies, I do have some micro minis upstairs in a different cabinet. I have a little micro cabinet. But for all intents and purposes, this is probably like 95% of my body stash. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too cringy and unwatchable. And if you're still here, thanks for watching my first ever studio tour, and hopefully I'll do some collection tours soon. Alright, have a good one. Bye!